ahead. You take a bow too. You earned it. You've officially made it to the end of computer skills. Let's take a look back at all the things you've learned and discuss the very last step of this final project. In the very first lesson, we dove into the history of computers. From a time when one computer took up an entire house, to the invention of computer chips, allowing computers to get smaller and smaller, to the World Wide Web and all the things we can do on it today. Next, we observed what computers really are. Just an organized mess of a bunch of different parts coming together to create a machine that can accept information from users, perform calculations, spit the calculations back out, and store all of that information for later use if needed. After that, we learned how to navigate computer interfaces, including how different computers have different operating systems, how to use input and output devices to navigate those operating systems, how to change your computer settings to whatever you find the most helpful, how to navigate and organize computer file systems, and how to troubleshoot in case something goes wrong. Then, we were ready to learn how to actually use computers to perform tasks. B taught us about productivity software that we'll most likely use a lot in the future, including word processors for writing up text information, presentation software for graphical presentations, and spreadsheet software for organizing and analyzing data. Next, we started using the internet for what it was made for, communicating. We found out how web browsers retrieve pages of information from other computers around the world. We learned how email works and some rules for writing and responding professionally to emails. Lastly, we, you, me, and Justin, learned how to use a more recent type of communication software known as video conferencing to communicate face-to-face -face over the internet. While we were on the topic of sharing information over the web, we learned some ways to become better internet researchers. We discovered how to enhance our searches on information retrieval systems to find the most relevant research possible. We learned methods for evaluating the credibility and biases of information sources. And we found out that there are certain legal and ethical rules we have to follow when using the work of others that we discover online. Next. We got a rude awakening to the many dangers that exist online and how to keep ourselves safe from harm. We now know how to safely browse the web without our computers getting sick with malware. We know how to identify the warning signs and protect ourselves from scammers and hackers. And we know the do's and don'ts for making friends online who may not be who we think they are. As we became more comfortable joining online communities, we considered the responsibilities we would have as digital citizens. This included responsibilities to ourselves, like maintaining a healthy balance between digital life and real life, and managing our permanent digital footprints, and responsibilities to each digital community, like following the rules of social media etiquette and doing our part to keep all community members safe from cyberbullying. Finally, you completed a final project using everything you've learned. By this point, you should already have completed your research and put it all together in a work of your very own. All that's left now is to share it with others. If you prefer to only share your project with people you know personally, that's fine. You can present it to an audience in person, attach it in an email, or just use the share function right there in your productivity software. But those of us at Mia Academy would love to see your project too. With your instructor's permission, post a video on Mia Academy presenting your project or post your research paper using our newspaper feature. Just make sure to follow our site rules for posting in those spaces. You can review these rules on Mia Academy or within the PDF for this lesson. As long as you follow these site rules, your project should be approved for public viewing. Then I and the rest of your friends here at Mia Academy will be able to view the amazing work you've done. One more time, I just want to say congratulations. 
You've learned so much in this course, and by sharing your project, you get to pass some of that learning on to others. That's just another way computers can be used to make the world a better place for everyone. Mia and I look forward to seeing how you use computers and all of their wonderful abilities to create a better future for yourself and everyone around you. But as great as computers may be, never ever forget, your brain is the smartest computer you will ever have. So keep it charged and never stop updating it. See you later. Hey, hey.